Chess friends, how are you? Leela Zero is a female artificial chess engine who achieved the performance rating of 4000 LO. Today I am gonna show you a recent game of Leela Zero with me where I strategically attack her kingside, executing a brilliant rook sacrifice to expose her king. This game holds a special place as one of my delightful and preferred chess matches, so let's go. E4 E6 T4 D5 French defense, you can go with knight C3, let me show you the variation, take take bishop check by black. C3 and play bishop to G5, attacking to the queen, knight E7 bishop here and black plays castle, thinking, my king is safe and the other pieces will develop very soon, but the fool doesn't know how to respect stockfish, I will play knight F6 check, sacrificing the knight right away, take and the king gets wide open, bishops are performing like a spider man, queen d7 then we will sacrifice another piece on h7, takes check, the king has to move back in his castled square and it will be a mate on h8. I taught you in another chess opening trick to defeat your opponent in 12, now treat me with a pizza, delicious ha, this game is also delicious because my opponent is Leela Zero, being a robot doesn't mean that I don't have emotions, hope you get it what I am trying to say, I played e5, c5 advance variation, c3 knight e7, she can go with knight c6 queen b6 and knight f5 to pressure the backward pawn, knight f3 and she played knight c6 instead of playing knight f5. That's why I say girls are very complicated to understand, it's like solving math problems, just when you think you've grasped it, everything seems elusive, bishop b3 and she could play queen b6 to pressure this and this but she played b6, queen fumetto in French, knight d2 bishop e7 and look at my structure, this great china wall passiving the queenside pieces, black is just restricted by herself, so I played h4 to attack in her kingside with the rook knight and an even with the queen. To attack in kingside you need at least 3 pieces, if you involve a knight too then the attack will be just devastating, this is the main strategy in middle game, bishop a6 attacking to the bishop but we don't care for it because we will prepare our 3 attacking pieces combination to attack the black king. The queen and knight is creating a threat in kingside and black should not play h6 or g6, as it can be flooded by the h5 pawn, but after take take Leela played h6 anyway, I punished her with queen h5. Because if you capture the knight then after takes the file will be opened, f6 to escape the king but we will play g6 to block the square, rook here and checkmate. Never lose sight of the fact that the most important yardstick to your success is how you treat other people, so back to the position, we have knight b4 to fork me on c2 square, rook c1 bishop d3, very critical move by her, first of all you can't capture the bishop, because of the fork, and she is threatening to play bishop g6 to protect her king's structure. Can you guess my first brilliant move in this game, pause the video if you need, if you think knight takes e6, it's not the brilliant move, it is just a good move, after capture we will sacrifice the bishop on h6, if black capture the bishop then after takes, rook g3 check is coming, black will be dead lost, bishop h7, rook check and king h8 can't possible because of this, so after bishop g5 rook check, king f8 only move, check here and it will be a mate on e7, 20 best moves. 1 brilliant move 0 blunder and 0 inaccuracy moves, game would end like this but I want something spices in my game, I played knight e4, brilliant move, because if you dare it then it will close the bishop line, rook g3 to bombard the king with the bishop and queen, he has to play g6 then after takes h5 is coming, few moves later, we will play h5 to break the structure, bishop h4 but we will capture the g-pawn to checkmate him, f5 to protect the rank but we will capture the bishop from him back, f4, rook h3. Black has to play queen g7, bishop takes pawn, threatening bishop h6 to lasering the pieces and you cannot capture the pawn because of rook g3, the Juliet and Romeo's ship love story will end by a rook strom, so after rook takes bishop queen takes, black and white will have a big war, called world war 2 on the chessboard, after the war ends, white of extra knight with the great rook power, pass pawns and so on. To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, that is all, so back to the position, we have knight d7, rook g3, getting the file and I want to attack black will my full dominating force, rook c8 attacking to the rook, so take take bishop takes pawn, check here queen a6, threatening to play knight f4 double check to the knight through attacking to the queen at the same time, so, 
Can you guess my next brilliant move? Yes you are right, I sacrificed the rook, king takes bishop check, if you move back the king in g8 square, then after queen check here it will be a simple 69 lo rated checkmate, and chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then please like and subscribe to my youtube channel, subscribe to stockfish otherwise you will remain weak in chess, back to the position, Leela slides her king, king e3. Getting rid from the check and here if you dare to play any normal kind of move let's say queen b5 then after knight f6 check, take check, king moves back to g8, bishop f6, threatening this, take take queen check king here take and it will be a checkmate on g6, if you say, hey stockfish, what about rook g8? I will say, hey fool, what about queen h6? Lol, back to the position, we have knight take c5 to give me a check, take take take, king g8 bishop takes queen check here take, and after some moves later we end up with equal material but I have more pawns than her, her king is exposed, and I am gonna win this game, this game was a Cadbury game with Leela Zero, I liked it very much and watch my end game with my tasty chocolate piano music. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.